they're already starting their PR tour for Doctor Who because the BBC understands that this is going to be a disaster. And uh, it's the same playbook over and over and over again. You you race replace, you you gender replace, and then you go, the fans, the fans are the problem. Uh, and this is exactly what we're going to uh, deal with right now. Nakuti Gatwa is out there already uh, race baiting, saying that he hates white people, that he's bitter about his existence uh, because he knows his Doctor Who's going to be a failure. And it's going to be a failure because of the poor writing and, and everything else. I mean, it's ridiculous that they uh, switched it up to a black guy to virtue signal anyway. Uh, black gay guy at that, of course. And <laughs> uh, but uh, they're never they're never even happy with that. They're when they get it, they're never happy. They always have to push further. It's it's just about hating you and yours, and that's what this cynical identity politics is all the time. Well, we're ri- we're writing much better science fiction. Uh, this is my subscribe star, everybody, and uh, I would love for you to get on here. I'm trying to produce um, extra comics for people. Uh, I'm writing actually. A, I'm editing a prose novel right now, uh, starring Ayla Rin. Uh, going out into the black of space uh, in between galaxies. And so that's a lot of fun. And uh, we have some wonderful, wonderful books, uh, both on my online bookstore, on Amazon. Uh, Please support our efforts because we do way better science fiction than the current crop of Doctor Who people who are, uh, you know, even Russell T. Davies is abandoning science fiction for a, quote, more fantasy-oriented thing. He he says this season is going to upset fans. And, uh, you know, judging from the Christmas special, it already did. Uh, it was it was hot garbage. And we know this. Uh, but let's 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 look up to this week leading up to this. Uh, immediately, uh, Gatwa is out there saying he wants a dance scene of Doctor Who destroying a monster with twerking. Now, remember, he he's a, allegedly a man uh, and he wants to go twerking to fight monsters. Uh, and so. He's putting his uh, homosexuality on full display, and this is going to happen in the the TV show, too. We know that Russell T. Davies wants to push this. We had those uh, 60th anniversary specials uh, just a couple months ago where, (laughs) you know, Hello, Rose. Oh, you're a beautiful girl, Rose. Oh, you're the most beautiful girl. And uh, and we were told this over and over. If you listen to the dialogue of that that first (laughs) 60th anniversary special, uh, it's lecturing that Rose, the transgender uh, dude wearing a dress, uh, is a uh, just as valid a, a girl as the original Rose, right? <laughs> and so they've, they've already put that in there. Uh, the bi-generation uh, thing is meant to be a pun, too. Uh, so which is uh, in the third special, uh, Nikuti Gatwa uh, just kind of uh, like an amoeba splits from David Tennant, and David Tennant's still hanging around out there. Uh, and it, it's really weird. And it was something that never happened uh, historically, canonically in Doctor Who, and they changed everything just to mess with you. And they call it by generation because, it, like I said, it's a pun, uh, and it's meant to be by bi, bisexual generation. Uh, and this is what Russell T. Davies is trying to push through this. It's all identity politics. They say that they're going to be, quote, controversial in this intentionally. They've said that they're going to be about race, about gender, about these things. This is all Doctor Who's going to be about. It's going to be like Star Trek Discovery, the Doctor Who version, uh, where it's just, they're just sitting around complaining about their identities rather than uh, going on adventures like you used to love. And that's uh, that's really sad, but that's that's what, quote, science is these days. Uh, you know, the science that gets in the... Uh, <laughs> news that gets in everything else is all about like weird like gender surgeries and things like that psychology fake sciences uh, it's you know you never see anything anymore about physics or uh, you know anything actually useful that's objectively <laughs> something that uh, is scientific uh, it's it's anti-science it's pseudoscience and uh, it's uh, cultural science is not science uh, and uh They always call us anti-science. Well, we're anti this nonsense because it is nonsense. A man is a man and a woman is a woman. There are biological differences, and uh, that should be very, very easy to say. But you can't because why? Uh, Because these these Marxist weirdos are going to come after you and try to make it socially hard on you, and that's what they're going to do. So after he went on the twerking nonsense, uh, now he's coming out and he's attacking white people, and that's what this is about. Uh, So... (laughs) Uh, here he is. Uh, he gives an interview, and Deadline picks this up, uh, talking about white mediocrity. And, uh, you know, I, uh, Doctor Who fans uh, are like 80, 90% white. <laughs> 
males. <laughs> so cool. Uh, it's immediately attacking the fans and the audience because he knows what's coming up. And so in, they can't admit that they like did a terrible thing by just doing these replacement characters and uh, messing with the core concepts of the show, messing with the uh, canonity of the show. Uh, they can't ever admit that they did wrong. And so what they're going to do is go, this is going to fail because of you. You're just a bad person. You're a bigot for not liking my show. Uh, and they're already starting this press tour even before it comes out uh, because I know exactly what's going to happen. We've uh, we've reported on this for a while. And uh, ratings are way down for Doctor Who. Uh, the, uh, the premiere uh, ratings were way down compared to other premieres. Uh, Millie Gibson is already out of the show but after just one episode airing. Uh, she's already bailing on it. And uh, the people at Bad Wolf actually responded to one of my articles on my website uh, and uh, and tried to chastise me about this, saying, oh, they've got contracts through, like, 2030. Uh, so they, they, they have these deep contracts with Gatwa and, and Millie Gibson, but, but she's leaving. And my prediction is that uh, he's going to be out pretty quick because the ratings are going to crash so hard. Uh, that they're just going to have to scramble uh, pretty pretty soon here. Now, they've already filmed this entire season. I, I believe they've even filmed most of the second season, if not all of it. Uh, and they're referring to it as season one, by the way. If you notice this, they are actually going out there, and rather than uh, you know saying what the current season is of Doctor Who, they're, they're pretending it's year zero. This is what the woke always do, is pretend that they're just starting something brand new. Uh, and uh, let's get into this article. It's ridiculous. Uh, so Deadline is, is simping for this real hard. Uh, this is what the media does. The first black Doctor Who, God, <laughs> was uh, extremely outspoken in a new interview. But it, it'd be the first black doctor. Uh, but uh, this is a this is a media uh, thing. They, they put Doctor Who instead of Doctor, first black doctor, because... Uh, when Google scrapes, they scrape the first paragraph, and so they wanted to get the uh, the algorithm in there. Got was an LGBTQ Rwandan immigrant to the U. Oh, please clap, please clap, everybody. Notice like there's nothing about like how good of an actor is. There's nothing about uh, him being a good person or anything like that. First black LGBTQ immigrant. That's all they say. This is all they care about. It is literally a casting for virtue signaling, a casting for this. This is why he's here. And uh, he asked about backlash on his assuming the role of Doctor Who, uh, and he says as part of a shift. We do see a shift happening in casting and positions of power and the status quo. I mean, not a fast ship. Things could tip over the other way a little bit quicker. But you see people kind of malfunctioning because things are changing. And yeah, I mean, they are literally changing the show, and they're making it worse, and the fans hate it. And it's not people malfunctioning, it's you malfunctioning. Stop blaming the fans uh, for just not liking it. Oh, this, this gets my uh, my blood boiling when I see this uh, gaslighting, always. He talks about his battle for acceptance. There's so much white mediocrity. Here he is, and this is where uh, you're being attacked, because uh, you're white. You, you Therefore, what you like is mediocre. Oh, this, this whiteness is mediocre. Uh, yeah, we can we can go over the cultural achievements of uh, Rwanda, uh, Gatwa. What 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 uh, what beautiful operas has Rwanda <laughs> made? <laughs> yeah, oh gosh, you know how it. Uh, you know this is all gaslighting, and they're they're pretending that white culture uh, doesn't exist and never did anything. They they they're forgetting the Renaissance intentionally, and they don't teach anybody history at all. Uh, it's just uh, you know this is a. Uh, this is it. You're, it's just your white mediocrity that's celebrated. You know, rap music is uh, is black uh, less than mediocrity. That's uh, not even music. Uh, they don't even do. They don't even try anymore. The the mumble rap shit these days. I'm gonna I'm gonna. You you want to talk about black mediocrity? You're not allowed to do this, and I'm gonna do it because I don't care. But uh, you know, you just get bitches. I mean, I mean, we're supposed to say that's like quality music. It's just it's just us. Uh, you know, celebrating white mediocrity that we don't like it. I mean, come on. And this is exactly what Doctor Who is these days. It is dumbed down Doctor Who. And uh, and you know it. And you know it, Gawa. <laughs> Black people, we have to be absolutely flawless to get half of that anyway. Oh, God. Uh, you're, you're the victim here, uh, you know, with your 
diversity hire role. And you know, and, and you could see that Deadline knows this is a diversity hire. He was hired intentionally for diversity, not because he's the best actor for the role. All the, They didn't mention anything about his credentials. They just mentioned he's a, a LGBTQ immigrant, that he's black. That's all they care about. And so, no, you don't. You don't have to be flawless. You just have to show up uh, with your skin color, and then you get the part over anybody else. That's how it works these days, and it's sick. It's anti-white. It's racist. Uh, and you are sick people blaming fans for when it doesn't pan out. Ugh. I'm slowly training myself to be like, no shit. You deserve love just for existing. And that's it. See? You deserve love just for existing. The participation trophy generation combined with identity politics in one quote. Uh, he was asked about the UK's struggle with gender diversity and trans identities. There we are. Everything trickles down from the top. When you see politicians openly attacking marginalized communities, and, uh, well, you know, the white fans are kind of the marginalized community at this point. That's who gets attacked in everything, isn't it? From Warhammer to comics, you just get attacked as fans. You're the marginalized community. Don't let them gaslight you. And when you see our politicians openly attacking trans people, uh, that's, again, when you say men shouldn't play in women's sports, they view this as an attack. It's ridiculous. It's absolutely crazy. It makes it okay for everyone else, and it's scary to see. We've got to a point where it's fine to attack vulnerable people because that's essentially what's happening. People who are the most vulnerable and most disenfranchised, most disconnected from everyone else, are being told they are threats. Well, it is. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's such. It's so I mean, this guy is like flipping everything backwards. You get a role because of your identity. And, uh, <laughs> wow, it's sick because it's hiding away your own ineptitude. Yeah, yeah, sure. You're going to put the blame on immigrants, uh, <laughs> black and brown people, trans people, queer people, to hide the fact that you're not doing anything for people. It's all about that, right? It's easier to create discord amongst people and divide and conquer, isn't it? Yeah, that's literally what you're doing, literally. Uh, we've got to keep pushing for more, lots and lots more diversity, more inclusion on our screen, lots and lots of it for all you male gammons out there, uh, which refers to a person of flushed face expressing their opinions, uh, you know, which is a white quality. So he's attacking white people, and this is what the BBC and Doctor Who's all about in the Disney Plus era. Leave a comment down below with what you think about this. My friends, make sure to check out my books. I recommend Overmind, uh, the graphic novel on my web store or my subscribe store uh, where we're posting a lot of great content. And of course, if you want to support our reporting, uh, anything, I would love for you to get on here. Thank you so much for being there, guys. And I'll never attack you, my fans, uh, because uh, why would I? Uh, you're great. That's all. Be great.